Spidey, this is Lam Pan. Uh, it's been a while, so welcome back. And today we're gonna make a uh, shrimp roll. It's very delicious. And I even have an assistant today who's gonna be helping me. Her name is Zoe. Okay, so um, we're gonna. This is all the ingredients you need. Okay, so why don't you help us? What do we need? Okay, this is um pork. Ground pork. Ground pork. Mm -hmm. This is a black pepper. Um, this is the oyster sauce, sugar, egg, and um kosher salt. Kosher salt, raw shrimp, water chestnut, water chestnut, and, and chopped, chopped onions. onions. And last but not least. One ton wrappers. You can get this at any uh, Asian grocery store. So any big store, they usually sell them in the frozen section. So. Okay, so let's get started. This is about one and a half pound of ground pork. So what you need to do, you add the all the ingredients in here. This is about half um, uh, big onion, so just just half of the whole mm. one. Just chop it, and one can of water chestnut. You either can buy the chop, so you just do it yourself, whichever you prefer. And then you're gonna add oyster sauce. So put maybe I would say three tablespoons. Okay. And then one tablespoon of salt. You don't want to put too much because shrimp is already a little salty, so you want to make it not too salty. So this way, not everybody likes salty. If they do, just add sauce later. So and then black pepper. Just put maybe one tablespoon and sugar. Maybe about, I would say two, let's do three tablespoons. And the egg, we're not going to add in here, but we're going to use this to wrap the one time. Okay, and, uh, oh, and then last but not least, for the people that don't like to use MSG, you use the uh, chicken soup base mix. That's make it more tasty too so you just and use about maybe two tablespoons that should be good oh and um this is the oyster sauce you can buy it from any uh, asian store okay any any brand doesn't matter work and if you don't have that you can also use poison sauce so either one Either one. It's just oyster is a little salty, but this one is not. So you can replace it. Okay, and we're just gonna mix all this together, but I usually like to mix with my hand. It's better, so that's why you need, what is this? Um, yeah, those are yeah so when you just plus. mix all this together, once because when you use hand, you it's, it just bring the taste all the ingredient um, better. Smells good. Smells good, you like it? Okay, so as you can see, it's everything is already mixed. Mm -hmm. So that tastes good, I hope Smells so. Smells good too. Smells good? Mm -hmm. And what you need to do, uh, if you bought this frozen, usually it's frozen, so you have to let it thaw out. And then, what you do, I mean, one pack usually have about 50 sheets. So, oops, hold on. Okay. So, they come like this. So, you just have to peel them one sheet at a time. Okay. They come like this, so you have to peel one sheet at a time. And I'm gonna add this to uh, seal the wrapper, just uh, one egg, and just add a little water so it doesn't, it's not too thick. Okay, so let me show you. Oh, and the shrimp, usually I buy the uh, 
cocktail shrimp with the tail attached, but this time I just used the regular, you can use raw shrimp with tail, but just make it nicer. In this case, I just use whatever I have, so that should work too. But let me show you how to wrap this. Do you beat the egg? Yeah, you do beat the egg. Oh, okay. Yes. You said egg and water, but you didn't say what you have to do with the egg. I'll show you how okay. To okay, yes, you have to risk, beat, whatever you want to do. All right, it. okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, pay attention. Okay, so what you need, don't put too much because if you put too much, then it might come apart. And in the meantime, while you're doing this, you want to heat up the oil. Okay, so um, let me oh, show you how to do oh, this first. Okay. <laughs> okay, um, see, if you use the one with the tails on it, it's just a little nicer. So what you need to do, just put this meat in the middle and the tail would hang like that. But in this case, there's no tail. It's easy to eat too, but it doesn't look as pretty as the one with tail. So what you need to do, just you, it, my hands clean, so. Make sure you wash my, your hands before you Exactly do this. right. And then you just put on one side and basically just wrap them like that. And don't worry, when you fry them, it just, it's not going to come apart, so. Okay, like that. That's pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Nice. Make a good Super Bowl snack, too. Right, we just, today is football. So, play off. Woohoo! I don't know whose team playing, but it's okay. All right, let me show you how to do one more time here, okay? Put, not too much, just, just let me have some spoonful like that in the middle and just get the shrimp put make sure a little hang piece hang out so make this make a little nicer and then again put this on the tip of the end there and just wrap it see hola there you go oh, so um that's it. So in the meantime, I'm gonna heat up the oil, and then I'm gonna finish wrapping this up, and then show you how to fry it. Okay. Okay. So I roll some of it here, and the oil you need to do maybe usually ten minutes preheat the uh, oil, and then to make sure you wanna know if it's hot, so just put bamboo stick on it. Can you see? If it's a little bubble, that means it's hot. I think it's hot now. Okay. But you don't want to make it too hot because it will burn this too fast. It's not going to cook. If it's too hot, make sure you lower it to medium. Okay. So you want to do this maybe 10 at a time. You don't want to put too much either. Slowly when you put it down. Can you see the hot? You see how that it just slowed up. Ooh. You don't want to be too close either, so do about ten or twelve at a time. Be so very it's careful. Not. Yes, be very careful because it will splash. You can burn yourself if you want to Yeah. You burn yourself. Okay, and you let it cook be about maybe five minutes or so okay and you just need to keep turning you want it to be like golden brown so check it once okay. in a while all right well <laughs> okay well it's been about two minutes and it's not really brown yet so you want to let it continue to cook maybe another two minutes so, okay sorry, guys. All right so i would say cooking time Five, six minutes, but just keep an eye on it. You don't want it to burn it. You want it nice and golden, so be delicious. Okay, so let's just keep checking. You don't need to flip them, anything. Just kind of stir them around a little bit, but pancakes. just leave it cooked. Okay, it's done. So
So it takes about six, seven minutes. If you'd like it more darker, you can leave it for another minute, but this is good. And the sauce, you just use any dipping sauce, just use any uh, sweet chili. Um, actually, let me show you. You can actually get this from any Asian store too. My mom's allergic to shrimp. That's why it's know. really good with egg rolls too, so this is very good sauce. You don't need to add anything else on it. Okay, and then what you it, see, this is very nice. And I'm actually allergic to shrimp, yes, so but I love <laughs> but my family really loves this, so I can have Zoe Can't. taste it for me. No, I'm not gonna taste it for you. <laughs> okay, but I'll take a chance. <laughs> I'll take a chance, be okay. I'm gonna break out. Um, I'm gonna break out. <laughs> It is very good, it's delicious, time, so perfect, and, and I'm gonna get breakout. Thanks <laughs> again for joining me today, and don't forget to check me out on hotmamacooking.com. Subscribe and like. Subscribe and like <laughs> if you want to. And thanks to my cameraman, my husband Sheldon, and until next time, America.